Everything you are derives from electrochemical synapses running in your brain. Well, here's something interesting. You go to a funeral parlor and your friend Frederick just died. You don't say, hey, which room is Freddy in? You say, where is the body of Fred? We all say that. That's a tacit admission that the body of Fred is not Fred. That Fred is something else that's no longer there. And that matches perfectly with the concept of a soul. So you recognize there was something there when they were alive that isn't there when they're dead. Well, what is it that was there when they were alive? Well, we have some evidence for this. The neurosynapses of your brain. And how do we know the brain is you? Because you can stroke out bits by bits of your brain, whole sections that just shut down. And as that happens, if it's a multiple strokes rather than one massive stroke, you lose the ability to speak, you lose knowledge of who you are, all the things that we associate with you, you lose your personality. Where's your soul now? I remain unconvinced that the soul is something other than a word we give to your neurosynaptic thoughts that enable you to say, I am an individual and I have a consciousness.